Hi, do you want to improve and boost your sex life? Many therapists and studies say that the average couple in America has sex only once every week. You have to remember that sex is not just about quantity, but about quality. The quality, the pleasure, the passion, and most importantly, the fun that you have doing it. So what do you need to change to improve your sex life? Get enough sleep. Sleep is a very important lifestyle factor that impacts your libido. A good night's sleep is a key factor to having a good day. Not having good sleep does have an impact, a negative impact on your sex life. Educate yourself about sex, what you like and what your partner likes. There are plenty of good self-help materials out there for every type of sexual issue. Browse the internet or use your local bookstore to pick out a few resources that apply to you and use them to help you and your partner to become better informed about the problem. If talking directly is too difficult, you and your partner can underline passages that you particularly like and show them to each other. Try to maintain physical affection, even if you're too tired, tense, or upset about a problem. Communication. Many couples find it difficult to talk about sex, even under the best of circumstances, when sexual problems occur. Feelings of hurt, shame, guilt, and resentment can halt conversation altogether, because good communication is a cornerstone of a healthy relationship. Establishing a dialogue is the first step, not only to a better sex life, but also to a closer emotional bond. Write down your fantasies. This exercise can help you explore possible activities you think might be a turn-on for you or your partner. Try thinking of an experience or a movie that aroused you and then share your memory with your partner. This is especially helpful for people with low desire. Do Kegel exercises. Both men and women can improve their sexual fitness by exercising their pelvic floor muscles. To do these exercises, tighten the muscle you would use if you were trying to stop urine in midstream. Hold the contraction for two or three seconds, then release. Repeat 10 times. Try to do five sets a day. These exercises can be done anywhere while driving, sitting at your desk or standing in a checkout line. At home, women may use vaginal weights to add muscle resistance. Try to talk to your doctor or sex therapist about where to get these and how to use them. Exercise. Physical activity is first and foremost among the healthy behaviors that can improve your sexual functioning because physical arousal depends greatly on good blood flow. Aerobic exercise is crucial and exercise offers a wealth of other health benefits from staving off heart disease, osteoporosis and some forms of cancer to improving your mood and helping you get a better night's sleep. Use alcohol in moderation. Some men with erectile dysfunction find that having one drink can help them relax, but heavy use of alcohol can make matters worse. Alcohol can inhibit sexual reflexes by dulling the central nervous system. Drinking large amounts over a long period of time can damage the liver, leading to an increase in estrogen production in men. In women, alcohol can trigger hot flushes and dis- disrupt sleep, compounding problems already present in menopause. Eat right. Overindulgence in fatty foods leads to high blood cholesterol and obesity, both major risks for cardiovascular disease. In addition, being overweight can promote laziness and a poor body image. Increased libido is often an added benefit of losing those extra pounds. Don't smoke. Smoking contributes to peripheral vascular disease, which affects blood flow to the penis, clitoris, and vaginal tissues. In addition, women who smoke tend to go through menopause two years earlier than their non-smoking counterparts. If you need help quitting, try nicotine gums or patches or talk to your doctor about drugs that could help. 
try to relax, do something soothing together before having sex, such as playing a game, taking a bath, or going out for a nice dinner, or try relaxation techniques such as deep breathing exercises or yoga. Try different positions. Developing a repertoire of different sexual positions not only adds interest to lovemaking, but can also help overcome problems. Try different role plays. Some people have fun imagining that they were someone else in a sexual game. Use lubrication. Often the vaginal dryness that begins in peri menopause can be easily corrected with lubricating liquids and gels. Use this freely to avoid painful sex. Schedule sex. Scheduling sex can be a good habit to remind you not to forget to have that physical affection that is crucial for couples to maintain and build their relationship. Foreplay, try foreplay, which is a set of emotionally and physically intimate acts uh, between sexual partners meant to create sexual arousal and desire for sexual activity. Try sending flirtatious messages during the day just to keep the game on and to excite your partner about what is coming ahead. Schedule a sex fact-finding night. Take one night to have a raw discussion about what you do and don't like sexually. Explore new sex moves and talk about your hidden fantasies. Don't pressure yourself to be sexy. Just examine and experiment to see what you like and say what you normally avoid saying out of fear of embarrassing yourself or sounding insensitive. Get cozy and chill with an erotic movie. Get to know each other's experience of titillation. There is porn that is couple friendly. Masturbating in front of your partner can be exciting for the other partner to see you enjoying and having pleasure with yourself or can be a good foreplay for your partner. Try some dirty talk. Some people enjoy that. So to spice up your relationship or your sexual desires for each other, try to spice it up with dirty talk. Re-evaluate how you think about sex. Let go of ideas about what sex is supposed to look like for you and your partner. For some people, feelings of insecurity, worries about their ability to satisfy their partners and low self-esteem can affect their sex drive. If you find yourself feeling this way, take a step back and reflect on these thoughts you're having. Are they holding you back from being honest with your partner and having a satisfying sexual experience? Be physically affectionate. Kissing and cuddling can help deepen your connection. While sex in itself can be pretty great, taking care to be extra affectionate with your partner can make you feel a deeper physical and emotional connection. Make an effort to kiss, cuddle, and caress your partner to show them just how much you love and cherish them. Try different sexual positions. Experiment to find positions that feel good for both of you. Your sexual experience can be different from each other. And every time, depending on the positions you and your partner try, you might discover what you did not know that you enjoyed. Certain positions will stimulate different areas of your body. So try multiple positions to see which one feels the best for you. Experiment with sex toys. Things like vibrators can add new sensations to sex. There are so many different types of sex toys you and your partner can experiment with to add a new dimension to your standard sex. Vibrators, plugs and dildos are some of the most common sex toys that couples use. Change locations, try a different room in the house or even a getaway on a trip. You'd be amazed at just what a small change in location can do for adding some excitement to your sex life. 
try some aphrodisiacs. Foods like strawberries and avocados can boost your libido. Believe it or not, there are certain foods that can actually give your sex drive a boost due to the specific vitamins and nutrients they contain. Some aphrodisiacs you might want to try include strawberries, raw oysters, avocado, and again, avoid alcohol and eating too many foods with saturated fat. Practice mindfulness. Being mindful helps you focus on staying in the moment. Sex might not be as enjoyable as it can be if you're feeling worried or stressed about other things going on in your life. Going through the motions of sex is one thing, but actually being present to enjoy that moment makes it all the more pleasurable and intimate. Take good care of yourself, eat healthy, get enough sleep and manage your stress. If you're not feeling your best, it's much more likely that you won't be in a good mood for sex or won't enjoy it as much as you could. Make sure you're taking good care of yourself and your well-being, along with maintaining your physical health. Also look after your mental health by finding ways to relax and reduce the stress that comes and goes with every 